What is up flippers? Welcome back to a very exciting video because today I will be able to uh, compare these five plastic battle songs here for you today and let you know how and if they uh, will fit into your collection. Before I get into comparing these battle songs though, I want to talk a little bit about uh, why you should consider a plastic battle song for your collection. Uh, so obviously the Squiddy here was kind of a pioneer of the plastic battle song. Um, and it served um, quite a bit, quite a few different um, purposes and functions as a, as a battle song in, uh, in one's collection. Um, these were obviously a lot of people's very first battle songs. Um, since the uh, material is low cost, they, uh, this is obviously Squid's uh, lowest costing trainer. So that allowed a lot of people to uh, kind of get their, uh, their foot in the door and see if they uh, see what flipping is about without having to spend over a hundred dollars. Um, also, um, it is non-threatening in plastic, so you can flip this out in public. The Squiddy is even TSA safe, um, so you can take this out on the plane. You can flip this out in public and no one's even really going to bat an eye besides maybe thinking that you're a little weird. <laughs> um, <clears throat> But actually the biggest functionality that I think plastic battle songs serve uh, for me, and I definitely kind of figured this out with the zipper here, is that um, the lightweight and the, uh, the plastic material just makes it so nice to uh, kind of just throw around in the background while you're working on homework or, you know, studying or whatever you're doing, watching TV. Uh, the lightweight just makes it really nice to just kind of fling around and do all of your tricks just really low effort and without really thinking about it. Um, the plastic is also um, the best part about flipping uh, a plastic battle song to me is that I can throw this around, drop it all over the place and not care about the battle song getting damaged or whatever the battle song's hitting getting damaged. Um, because when I'm flipping one of my metal ballast songs at my desk or wherever I may be, um, I'm always cautious of uh, <clears throat> of dropping it and you know hitting something metal and damaging the ballast song, causing dents and stuff like that. So having something plastic around just makes it really fun to throw around and try to you know learn new tricks and make up your own tricks. Um, and uh, yeah, like when you're learning a new trick and you just keep dropping the ballet over and over again. Um, it's not loud, it's not going to make a lot of noise, it's not a lot of effort going and picking it back up because it's so light. Also that means if you have uh, roommates or, you know, downstairs neighbors or, you know, you have your parents' bedroom, roommates' bedroom, you know, right under your room or something like that, wherever you're flipping, whenever you're dropping this around, you're really not going to bother the people around you. So that is really nice when it comes to uh, flipping uh, every day. <clears throat> yeah, there's basically a lot of reasons why uh, you should consider picking up a plastic battle song. And uh, luckily for you, today I will be uh, comparing these five battle songs here and letting you know which one uh, might be right for you. <clears throat> also, in the uh, hopefully in the near future, I will be part of a pass around that will include a tay flipper and an angler. So... That will, uh, that will be a very interesting video to compare all of these. Um, uh, so yeah, just look out for that. <laughs> One last point I wanted to make as to uh, why you should consider a plastic battle song for your collection is that um, even if you are someone who uh, tends to not like trainer battle songs and you have mostly live blades in your collection, well then, um, when you are flipping your live blades and you... Um, you know, happen to cut yourself. And I find that oftentimes my ballast song cuts happen to be in, um, in places that I use a lot while flipping, like the tip of my index here. Um, so when you're healing from a, a bad cut like that uh, and you want to keep flipping and you pick up something metal and heavier, um, it's going to agitate that cut, especially if it's in a, a spot that you use, um, you know, for flipping. Um, Whereas something plastic and lighter like this, um, it really doesn't take as much effort 
in your fingers and so you don't have to uh <coughs> excuse me it takes less effort while flipping so you don't have to you know put full force in your fingers while you're flipping and um, it's much easier on your cuts while they're healing and um, yeah that's why i like having uh, a couple plastic battle songs in my collection to pick up while i'm uh, healing from cuts or you know i just want to keep flipping and don't want to get tired from a heavier battle song but uh but yeah let's uh hop into the uh comparison now so uh let's go ahead and jump right into the comparison here let's go ahead and start with the uh the squiddy the uh the pioneer the one that kind of started it all here so um uh, what you get in a squiddy is just a fairly neutral um little handle bias um balance um you get these really plain handles really blocky and square um with weights at the end as well as this blade that kind of tapers upwards with a, another weight at the end giving it that giving it that nice kind of neutral balance overall um it does make it good for you know flipping and learning moves and kind of translating over to a real battle song um However, these washers on this plastic material can feel very grindy and have potential to get caught up even at times, um, which is not the best. But overall, it does feel really good. Um, you do get pretty decent freely. Oh, see? <laughs> overall, you get mostly decent free handle swing. Um, maybe I need to tune up the safe handle again, but... Yeah, that is definitely <clears throat> a downside with the squiddy here it is on washers so it can bind up and feel grindy. Take a look at the play there. This is all going to be pivot play, not flex of the material. <clears throat> so yeah, this is kind of like the, uh, the base starter line of, uh, of plastic battle songs. You got these really plain handles, plain blade, weights at the end, and uh, running on washers. So uh, let's take a look at where we can go from there. So <clears throat> here we have the Spasm Fingers Dragon. Um, as you can see, it is a pretty nice looking battle song overall, really kind of aesthetically pleasing. Um, however, once you actually start to flip this, you realize that it is a that's kind of all it is is good looking um this balance is really bad with the uh the weights in this blade um it should be the weights should be centered at the tip here to give it that really and um like balanced bias overall um but <laughs> these weights at the end here just give it such a weird balance that you can't even really fan it properly um Oh, yeah, that's like the best fan you'll get right there. Um, so yeah, this balance is just so honestly really bad. It's not going to translate over to anything else once you uh, start flipping anything else. Um, if you look at the uh, pivots here, this is the pivot play. Uh, quite a bit more than the squiddy um, and you definitely do feel it when you're flipping which does not feel good um, and the plastic overall just doesn't feel good um, and then these weights end up popping out after like two drops um, <laughs> like that um, you can just keep you know pushing them back in but <laughs> after a couple of drops they just keep sticking out <clears throat> and then you can't even flip the battle song. So for those reasons, I really cannot recommend this for anyone. And for um, that reason, I'm out. I actually feel like kind of sad for anyone who bought this thinking it was going to be like a somewhat decent flipper because this thing feels really, really bad and it does not flip well at all. The only thing it does well is chaplains and I guess rollovers because of the handle bias. But besides that, you are not going to have a good time flipping this, I'm sorry to say it. 
So yeah, that's uh, the quick look at the uh, Spasm Fingers Dragon. Let me know if you have um, a different experience with any Spasm Fingers products. I'm definitely eager to hear about anyone else's experiences, good or bad, so leave them down in the comments. <clears throat> All right, and from there, I recently got this uh, Peony, just yesterday actually, so my thoughts are still kind of fresh and uh, somewhat developing, but I feel I have a good overall grasp on uh, what this battle song is. Um, so like the dragon, I've actually had my eye on this for quite some time, and I am very glad I finally was able to uh, to uh, snag one in, uh, in the drop. Um, so yeah, this is a very, very unique flipper. Um, instead of like a regular plastic that is... Uh, <clears throat> Instead of a regular plastic that is um, that is hard and um, uh, more firm, obviously this is um, this is made out of a resin that is much more kind of malleable. You can see that the handles bend just a bit, uh, and then the blade here actually bends a lot. Um, so yeah, interestingly enough, the handles will not bend this way if you try to bend them like this they really they kind of will bend you can see a little bit there but it's really hard to bend it i think something with this channel um is like that channel is like really hardened so um you can kind of bend it uh this way though if you see there <laughs> it's kind of bent inward and then i can bend it back outward a little bit um but yeah, the blade is like completely bendy, flexible, which is really cool. Um, it actually does add for like a unique uh, balance when flipping when you kind of bend it like that. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny because you can still chaplain, you can still flip it, all that stuff. And the blade is just bent like that. And then of course you can just bend it right back in there. So the Peony is definitely very unique, um, super fun flipper. Um, however, I would not recommend this to a beginner, someone who's looking for like their first battle song to learn a couple of tricks on to see if they're interested. Um, it's just not really going to be um, similar to an actual battle song flipping experience in my opinion, just because of how flexible and uh, and how weird everything about this battle song is. That being said, I definitely recommend it um, to um, pretty much any flipper out there. Um, really makes for an a interesting and unique flipping experience, um, especially with the uh, bendy blade and <laughs> handles. Um, however, like the uh, Squiddy, this is running on washers and there's quite a bit of play uh, probably more than the Squiddy, actually. However, unlike the Dragon, you do not really feel that play when you're flipping it. Uh, feels overall fairly solid. I mean, you will feel some play for sure, but for the most part, I feel like I don't really notice all of that play when I'm flipping it, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, really fun. Um, the handles are also very unique from the rest of the four battle songs on the table. They are very uh, round, as you can see, on the channel inside and out. It has that flat right there, but uh, on the faces of the handles, it is very circular, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> so yeah, that is the, uh, the Peony. Um, Definitely a unique and fun flipper, but not something that I would uh, I would buy as my first battle song to learn on. So yeah. All right, so moving on from the Peony, I am very excited to share with you all the Cycloid by Zippy Battle Song here. Um, yeah, there's a very interesting backstory here of uh, how this battle song even came to be. Um, but uh, I suppose that's a story for another video. Um, yeah, the Cycloid. This is Zippy Balasong's answer to anyone who is skeptical about paying over $100 for a plastic Balasong, which is completely understandable. Um, 
the cycloid will be launching this weekend uh, on Saturday, so definitely be prepared if you are interested in picking one of these up. Um, yeah, how does it flip? I mean, the main thing here is that it's running the same bearings on um, on race washers as the psych um, as the zipper there, so the action feels very very smooth. Um, Unlike washers, you're not going to get, you know, uh, binded and caught up or feel like grindy or anything like that when flipping. Uh, the bearings on race washers just feel so smooth and, um, and also allow for uh, some of the best tolerances I've seen on a plastic battle song. Um, I currently don't have this tuned, so it's going to be pretty loose, but I'll show you the tolerances here. Pivot play. That is the most amount of pivot play, and uh, I haven't uh, I haven't tuned this recently, so um, it does look better, I believe, once you uh, fully fully tune it up. Um, the balance it is much like the Squiddy with one weight at the tip and one weight at the end of each handle there, uh, giving it a very neutral to slight handle bias uh, balance but um, overall making it very, very fun um, to flip. Um, so yeah, this is uh, somewhat similar to a zipper. However, it's missing quite a few key features that allow the price to drop down to a little more something like the Squiddy. Um, this is gonna be available for $69. Um, and it's gonna come just like this. Uh, the colors will vary. Um, but uh, yeah, it's gonna come like this with the bite marker. You got your wave channel right here. Got the design pattern on the handles, look very, very nice. Um, and yeah, this is one of the more lighter flippers of uh, the ones on the table here. Um, I can't remember if this, uh, this is lighter or heavier than the Dragon here, but let's find out. Cycloid is weighing in at 2.1 ounces and the dragon here is weighing in at 2.2 so this is actually ever so slightly heavier than the cycloid here however the balance is just far way better and that is what makes it so much better uh, as a flipper than the dragon uh, that along with the uh, the pivot system just make it flip so very nice um, so yeah, if you're interested in a zipper and kind of skeptical of the price point, I definitely think that the Cycloid is worth checking out for you. Um, the action, the handle swing just feels so good. Um, yeah, and if you don't want all the premium features that the zipper offers, then the Cycloid is definitely right for you. Um, however, if you want a plastic balisong that is more premium and actually feels more like a real balisong, then I would definitely go with the, the zipper here. Now the zipper is $105, um, so you are paying, but what you are paying for is quite a bit, um, or what you get for what you pay for is quite a bit. Um, of course, you have a 3D printed plastic balisong. However, you have um, you have magnets at the end of, end of the handles here that give it some vibration dampening that make uh, that basically reduces um, vibration when when it hits when you're doing tricks and stuff like that, um, which allows for the tune to stay um, just properly tuned for longer, which is very nice. Um, you also get the modular weight configuration that you can change up to flip it with different uh, balances and biases and see which one you like. Get used to them like that. <coughs> of course, this is 2.6 ounces, um, so it is about half an ounce heavier than the cycloid. Uh, the ball bearings and the uh, handles here give it a very nice feel. Um, some people may think it looks kind of tacky or they just don't like the uh, overall look, which is fine. I can kind of see where they're coming from. 
However, I really do like the look of it and the the grip that, that the ball bearings offer is very, very nice. Um, so all of that um, really makes the zipper worth it to me in my eyes. However, I think um, a lot more people will begin to kind of realize that once they get the cycloid in hand and kind of feel just how smooth and, and nice that the, uh, the zippy engineering feels. So yeah, I think that, uh, that about does it for my comparison video today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the uh, comment section below and I'll uh, do my best to get back to you ASAP. Um, yeah, all right, flippers, thanks for watching. I will catch you all in the next video. See you.